as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. My God, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the gun. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. Ah, if only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped, but I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... A little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And... Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Stop it. Get to the point. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. So this is all that's left? That's not all that's left, sir. There's still you and me. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! Picking up off the kaboo! My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. If I only had a bobby pin. What's all this then? How do you? <laughs> what? 
Codsworth. Sir, the missus and young Sean, they aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? The Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. You're just pointing me in a random direction. Well, I'm afraid that's all I have. But you know best, sir. I'm sure you'll find young Sean, one way or another. I shall remain here and secure the... Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. Be careful out there, sir. The communists abound. by yourself you want to come with me pal okay then let's stick together
fall through the door. Grab that laser musket and... Pick this.
Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Bingo. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us, maybe we can help you. That's my business. All right. Fine. Forget I asked. But we do need your help. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Tough break. Huh. You don't know the half of it. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong, but, well, we do have one idea. Maybe? <sighs> nope. Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. <laughs> the answer's no. I'm out. Just like that, huh? You come this far, then condemn these poor people to die? All right. Have it your way. Stay safe. Maybe at least one of us will survive this. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's... it's angry. Somebody up here! Something's out there. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people could get past my boys. I give you that. Steer away, asshole!
Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hey there. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Stop kidding yourself. You're nothing to me. Hmm. You know, you talk like a jerk, but you still helped us out, whether you wanted to or not. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Spoken like a true merc. Well, if you ever feel like fighting for something other than yourself, you should meet up with us in Sanctuary. I could use someone like you, someone who can get things done. I got my own problems. Well, that much is true, cause I seen your destiny and I know your pain. Don't give me that destiny crap. I just saw you go toe to toe with a 20 foot tall irradiated lizard. You telling me you can't keep an open mind after that? It's all right, Preston. Not everyone understands the sight. But I don't need you to believe. I just need you to listen. You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Bullshit. You're trying to play me for a fool. Oh, no, kid, no. The sight's sometimes foggy, but it ain't ever a liar. Your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. That's... vague. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush. Man. All right, folks. I'm sure Preston Thanks to our friend can here. handle anything it's we safe find to move until out. we reach Sanctuary. We're heading sanctuary. for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hold on, hold on. Worse Help you Everybody just take it easy. City, We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, Get going. You got a better idea Diamond of what we should do next?